just elected its first female prime minister, Georgia Maloney. And I don't know that much about her, but I like what I see. Italy's a G7 country. They're a NATO ally. They're, they're, there's a million and a half or more Italian Canadians. Like Italy and Canada are friends. The Manny, Justin Trudeau, refuses to issue even the most perfunctory congratulations to her winning. Like she, She's a female leader. You, you'd think that would be his bailiwick, but he is treating her. He's ghosting her. He's giving her the cold shoulder. I find that shocking. Yeah, no, so do I. I mean, I'm extremely disappointed, but it tells you the true nature of who Justin Trudeau is. Um, he is a very vindictive, divisive human being. If you do not align with his, his personal principles, you do not exist. He will ghost you. He will, he will completely ignore you. And, and, and Ezra, we've seen this for years with this guy this vindictive, hateful prime minister. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Now, remember that that protest. Mm -hmm. This was during a pandemic mm -hmm. where people, I, we weren't even allowed out. It was the worst of times during this pandemic. Mm -hmm. He sat there, went and met with them. Forget the health rules. Forget everything. He's aligned with that value. He knelt with them. And that's who, just, if you are on Justin Trudeau's bandwidth, you are going to get the royal treatment. Now, compare that with the truckers, who he once called only a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. He called truckers essential workers. These are our heroes. We need them. We love them. They're bringing our food and everything to us. Uh, and then a year later, he because they wanted to stop this very vindictive policy, imagine putting in a new health policy for for COVID, when we were at the tail end and about to release it all, he puts his vindictive policy and he wouldn't meet with him for a second. Yeah. That tells you who he is. Now, the, the Italian, new Italian PM is very oppressive. Um, she's basically going back to core values. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and, you know, Italy has done a lot in the years being progressive and moving on to its, uh, its, this progressive values, and it hasn't worked well. If you talk, I mean, it works well with the elites, but not to the, the people on the street, mm -hmm. Italians. And uh, so, yeah, we have a change of government. She's a wonderful woman. I mean, I mean, again, the fact that Trudeau will not say anything about her goes, goes back to his, I will call him a, a, a huge misogynist. Mm -hmm. why, would I, why would I say that? Not because... Because of facts, you might recall that he sexually assaulted Rose Knight, the reporter. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, that was that was admitted. And then he um, said that she experienced it differently. Right. Like she had right. an awful. He had an awful excuse for it. Yeah, of course. But he did. Mm -hmm. He sexually. And then the second thing, which was, I mean, I I, I take um, I kind of look at who our attorney generals are, and uh, uh, Judy Jody. Wilson Roybal was an impressive attorney general, mm -hmm. uh, a female indigenous woman. He just kicked her to the curb, M a very misogynist in his treatment, as well as he was with Philippot. And then we, we, we know about his misogyny. If, if women do not agree with him, then boom, he, they're done. So we've seen that. Um, he talks the talk about women in po politics. The whole liberal world Hillary Clinton, everybody should be applauding that we finally have a PM, a, a PM in a, a female PM in a G7 country. Mm -hmm. But no. You know, just diplomatic protocol, like the whole idea of having diplomats is that you still deal with each other, talk to each other, even if there's tensions. I mean, for heaven's sakes, um, we have diplomats in, in, in communist regimes like China. We, like, we actually never stopped dealing with China when they took those Canadians to Michael's hostage. If Trudeau will continue to do business with China when they were holding our hostage, but he won't even say congratulations. He, he wouldn't even say congratulations to the Italian people on a successful election. Like, he yeah, just right. won't say anything. And I checked. I checked Trudeau's Twitter feed, the Foreign Affairs Twitter feed, Melanie Jolie's Twitter feed, like, not even acknowledging it. That's just pouty. And, the, and listen, this is a guy, Trudeau, who gave a 
beautiful eulogy for Fidel Castro, but he can't say right. a word about our G7 NATO ally. Not even a perfunctory congratulations. I look forward to working with you, though we may have our differences. Our friendships are greater. Like whatever. He won't even right. say that. He's like a pouty right. child. He's like a pouty teenager. Well, I think the biggest threat to a progressive, vacuous, um, you know, liberal that is all virtue signaling is a woman with conservative values that is well spoken. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and those are the biggest threats because uh, very powerful. She's very powerful. You know, let's forget about the personalities. Let's just look at what's happened in Italy. I have a friend that just came back from Italy. Italians are paying a thousand euros for hydro per month. Their pension is 1300 per month. Hmm. Like, can we at least give the people of Italy yeah. some credit? They're saying, yeah. we can't do this. We can't get on this road of progressivism mm -hmm. because we are literally dying. Mm -hmm. We are not going to survive the next tranche of these wonderful little experiments that these millionaires and billionaires uh, contrive. So it's fair that they're mm -hmm. saying, well, we've had enough. I mean, yeah. Italians say, hey, you know what? I mean, Italians are, you know, you can push them around a lot. But there's a point in time where they say, OK, basta, basta. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and they say enough. And, 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 and so where you have the Italian people saying we can't. I mean, you look at you look at the whole the whole culture is under attack. I mean, we as Canadians have to respect every other culture except the Canadian culture. Italians have to respect, respect every other culture except the Italian culture. And I tell you, the Italian culture is a pretty damn good culture. It's got a lot. And to see it be, you know, dismantled daily, uh, you know, Canada's culture is a wonderful culture, but we're only been around 100 years or so uh, to sit there and see the progressives destroying the family, you know, Dio, La Familia, uh, you know, uh, La Pies. When you, when you go after country, um, uh, families, I mean, families are important to Italians. To sit there and say only five people can get together for Christmas on an arbitrary decision. Mm -hmm. uh, the Italian family was under assault. So, you know, I mean, it's inevitable that they're going to ask for a new government. And it's, it's nothing, you know, untoward. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually, it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix, and in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for eight bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways, because we rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.